We're following the latest out of Southern California where mudslides have killed at least 15 people. Torrential rain triggered the deadly mud flows in areas recently scorched by wildfires. At least 25 people are reported injured and now rescue operations are underway for more than 20 people still unaccounted for. And those numbers could increase. Many of the deaths are believed to have occurred in Montecito. It's northwest of Los Angeles. Rescue crews now racing to find survivors in the hard-hit areas of Santa Barbara County and Los Angeles County. Thousands were ordered to evacuate, but officials believe only about 15% of people living in the mandatory evacuation zones actually got out. Dozens have been rescued from mud and debris, including a baby who was airlifted by a helicopter. Officials say that their priority today is to determine if anyone is still alive in homes and cars that were damaged. CBS News correspondent Carter Evans is covering this story from Montecito. He joins me now by phone. Carter, what exactly is the extent of the damage we're talking about in Montecito? The damage is tremendous, but it's focused in specific areas <clears throat> along creeks and waterways. I mean, those swelled significantly, and they brought giant trees down with it, uh, the water, and huge, huge boulders. So you can imagine it, it was almost as if these houses were in a bowling alley being pummeled with boulders the size of cars. Some of them were just obliterated. We're seeing these cars, Carter, right now emerged, houses emerged in water. We saw some of the rescue operations. What do we know about that? Well, the rescue operations are, are still underway, but this debris is, is difficult to go through. For example, I, I saw a part of a house in a tree earlier today. So they've got all sorts of places, and it was not a tree house. It was part of someone's home that was stuck up in a tree. So they've got to look. And we've heard anecdotal reports of people who are still stuck inside their homes. And, and it's safe, but they're stuck inside their homes. Heard an anecdotal report of a pregnant woman. Uh, a little woman who's stuck in a library somewhere. So they've got to track all these people down first. Carter, this area was also ravaged by the Thomas fire last month. Is there a sense that this could have contributed to these deadly mudslides, or are these just separate things? Absolutely. And I talked with firefighters, and they say as soon as the Thomas fire started, they were thinking about the flooding possibility. I mean, they knew it was a possibility. This is winter. This is when we get rain in L.A. And when it happens, when those hillsides are bare, there's no vegetation to hold the dirt down. Uh, the mudslides are, are pretty much a foregone, foregone conclusion, it's just a matter of where. Carter Evans on the ground there uh, in Montecito, California. Carter, thank you for joining us with the update.